Dragons, Wizards, Witches and Muggles, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are doing a toy review, I know, something a little bit different, but this time it's actually a magical toy called Magical Mixies, so it's very magical, we're going to be making some potions together, see what happens, I'm very very excited, so if you want to see what magic we can make, then keep on watching, and if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome, don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family, but let's go, because I'm going to get my witch's hat on, and we're going to make this cauldron bubble. Right, just before we get started, <clears throat> I'm about to do some spells and some magic so I've got the correct attire. Now I did purchase this myself, I did see it online, mainly TikTok, a couple of YouTube videos. So yes, here it is, it has arrived. Now I do not know how this thing works yet, I haven't researched if you need to charge it or anything. We're just going to open it and see what the experience is like if you were to buy this direct from a shelf. If you're interested in getting your own magical mixes after watching this video and if it floats your boat, this will set you back around seven pounds which is quite a lot for a child's toy I'm not gonna lie but I've heard good things and I think it's gonna impress but who knows we're here to find out so before we get in the top and taking all of the magical bits out let's have a quick look at the box shall we so here is the front of it it says magic mixies um, so it has 50 plus sounds and reactions which is exciting it says mix your potion make your pet Ooh, and it says who will you magically create and there's a magic cauldron and then on the back you've got a few little examples um so it says read spell add ingredients tap wand see miss i mean there's an instruction booklet inside i think so yeah let's dive straight on in then okay so let's take the top off little tiny potion bottle so this says number one which is cute so we've got a little potion bottle so let's set that down now on top here it says stop <laughs> that's a bit mm. okay so it says important information scan to find out more okay better do as i'm told let me get my phone okay so there's a qr code so i'm just opening up my camera tapping the link and we have in fact got our little magic mixes thing. Okay, so it says, dear parent or caregiver, the magic mixes magic cauldron includes a fog making feature in order to recreate a magical misty cauldron interaction with the toy. This experience is designed to create a magical feeling product revealed to discover the hidden magic mixy. Uh, we appreciate that some parents may be concerned regarding the potential health and safety considerations, providing a fog producing toy directly to children for play and this letter will address these concerns before your child interacts with our product and it says to generate the misty fog effect we've used a type of material known as vg or vegetable glycerin as the name suggests it is derived from natural plant materials vg has been used in food pharmaceuticals cosmetics and toy products for more than 100 years and is safe for human consumption okay so we've had a little health and safety warning to begin with let's carry on on a box We've got this little pink thing which looks like some sort of key. <gasps> There's a tiny little potion bottle in here. This says bonus mist refill vial. Okay, so we have an extra special mist potion for us to use at a later date. And last but not least, we have got our little tub of magical ingredients, which we will go through. So we've got a grimoire in there. What else have we got? Okay, I'm going to leave all the little packets in there, but you can see all the little potion packs. I'm ready for some magic! They've put tabs on them, haven't they? Ooh. Oh, it worked. We're in. I've got my little magic wand. Now, this isn't the kind of wand that I'm used to. I'm not going to lie. This is really cute. Okay, so here we have the cauldron. Let's put that to one side. And bear with me whilst I read some instructions. <clears throat> I don't know where to start. This is a lot of instructions for someone. I've got to say, for a kid's toy, it's a lot. <laughs> mm. 
I've had a little look at this instruction manual. This is for parents and guardians to read, but there is also a scan for an easy how-to video, and there is a smaller instruction like spell book for kids or whoever, witches like me. So I'm gonna quickly go watch that video and I'll be back. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to make some magic. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna need my spell book which is right here, and it says, start your potion. Fill bottle with water, pour into cauldron. I may have cheekily filled mine up already. And it says, listen for the tap, tap, tap sound. Tap the cauldron three times. Right, okay. I'm pouring. <laughs> it sounds so magical. Okay, did it tap? <gasps> okay, it says give your magic mixie its voice. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna get the voice dust out of here. <gasps> okay, so this is the voice dust number two it says pour in the dust and stir your potion okay i'm gonna <gasps> okay in it goes giving it a voice okay we're in right i'm stirring stirring the voice in and then <laughs> i'm like amazed that this is working Okay, next, I need to add sparkle to my mix's eyes. Drop in, glimmer star, stir, and then tap. This is the glimmer star. There it is. So this is gonna give their eyes a little twinkle. May you have beautiful eyes. Okay, let's give it a stir. <sighs> I'm just like <laughs> in my element right now. There's the little star, still dissolving. Right, I'm gonna tap. <laughs> okay, next up we've got Grant Your Mixie It's Wings. Drop in a magic feather, I shall. And then stir it again. Here's the feather, let's drop it in. Okay, then I think I need to tap soon. I'm gonna wait for the tapping noise. That feather is dissolved. Right. <laughs> magic, magic, magic. Right, next up, I need to color my mixie. It says, add the fizz flower. I think that's this, okay. Oh, it's bubbling. Uh, oh, right, fizz flower. Fizz away. Oh, it does. It's like a bath bomb, but magic. Oh, very fun. This potion looks good. I'm not gonna lie, it's very pink right now. <laughs> okay, next up, we have to add the creation crystal. Drop in a crystal gem. Oh, okay. So here's the crystal gem. Let's pop it in. Here it is. Oh. Give it a stir. What is next? Oh. <laughs> next, I have to name my mixie. Oh, I don't have a pen. I need a pen. I didn't think this through. Right. On the scroll. Where's the scroll? <gasps> Magic! <laughs> I've got the scroll. I've got the scroll. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, look! <laughs> I'm gonna call it M. Something M. Maisie. I don't have a pen on me right now, but I'm gonna put it on my heart and say Maisie. And I'm gonna drop it in. And I'm gonna stir it. <laughs> right, I'm ready for this spell to finish. Can you 
still see me? There's so much like, oh! goodness okay I've just made how do you come out I need to oh, okay I think I need to spin it out it says to twist mm. how do I take you out do not place your hands right yeah yeah rotate it anti-clockwise by pull and then pull out <laughs> to come out I do not know how to get this out once the sounds have stopped or the mist is cleared you may remove your magic mystery by rotating it anti-clockwise right well it doesn't okay I fought the cauldron a little bit my mixie was stuck inside it said to twist it anti-clockwise but um we've actually looked and it was stuck in by this but nowhere does it say to cut this off or at least that i can see it should just release but it didn't either way we've got our little mixie out and it's pink so this is Maisie. everybody say hello it's very fluffy and it keeps making noises i don't know if i can i do things to you i don't know let's figure it out because i know that it can make lots of noises and everything hello your magic mixie has three different magical responses to the wand. Each is triggered when you place the tip of the wand against the top gem. So it says a quick tap and the mixie spell will turn purple. Will it though? <laughs> I agree. Um, tap the wand on top of your magic mixie's gem and it will cast spells. The more you do this, its spells will increase and the gem will strobe. It just keeps sighing at me and honestly I'm kind of with it. Are you sleeping? Are you gonna... I think these are just noises that it makes. It says pet your magic mixie just above its gem um, to build up its energy. Watch as the gem lights up and your mixie makes cheerful noises. Oh it does. Um, the more you pet, the stronger and happy your mixie will become. I mean, that works. Okay. She do be leaking. I have just noticed that my cauldron has just leaked a little bit. Because I don't know where the water in this goes. Um, have you leaked? She do be dripping out of her feet. Can you see it's dripping? Okay. <gasps> no, it's got pink dye in it as well. Okay. I shouldn't have to read an entire manual for something like this. Okay, guys, let's talk about this as a whole experience. Now, I would like you to keep in mind that this costs... 70 pounds to buy and i think having this many instructions i know that this is for a parent but even for a parent like i'm an adult that's a lot and i feel as though it would have been better in a much clearer instruction booklet because with this whole sheet you don't really know which bit you're meant to read like am i meant to read that way am i meant to read this way there's two sides there's one for the actual spell itself and then the other side for what the magical mixie does afterwards too but honestly there was a few things that weren't clear so when it flipped over mixie got stuck it doesn't say anywhere to cut it which i feel like it <laughs> let's just turn you off um it didn't really tell you to cut it out because that kind of ruined the experience for me i was like oh i really want to get it out now i was like oh it's stuck and i was getting irritated not a magical experience. Also, I didn't get the chance to write the name on the thing. I didn't know if it was on a timer. I didn't have a pen. It didn't tell me to get a pen ready either. And also the cauldron does leak once it's done its flippy thing. I'm not sure how to empty it. I will discover that afterwards because I know that you can reuse this and make it do it again. I really did enjoy the actual potion making part. I think that's the best bit. The mist was really cool and really excited me because it really did feel like I was doing a magic spell. So I think that bit got a thumbs up from me. But the amount of instructions and 
faff that I had to kind of do prior kind of took some of the magic away so I don't know what that would do to a kid either it's definitely a toy that you 100% would need adult supervision or adult help with because I still don't I I don't have hours to read through this whilst I'm doing something <laughs> it's a lot and it's two sides I don't even know if I'm doing it in the right order it's frustrating as an adult let alone a child um, On. Say that anywhere, does no, it? it doesn't. It just says tap. It's actually, I think it's meant to be the end. This is not clear in the slightest. Um, the novelty of the spell making, as I said, fun. Is it worth seventy pounds? No, even with its re, <laughs> even with its kind of reuse, and um, you can use it multiple times, and you can even put your remisting stuff inside there as well, which is definitely the fun part. But you know, you you can't where's all your potion bits you can't redo that so i guess you can make it mist and you can make it flip again it's not worth 70 pounds in my opinion i don't think it is it's cute i like the novelty but at its current price point i would not be spending this if i had a child i don't think it's not worth it it's kind of frustrating i really like i really wanted to like it but as i said i loved the spell making very fun but everything else about it it kind of was a bit okay hello confusing do Yep. <laughs> and I think by the time that you're having to scan to watch a how-to video, it's already too complicated. Something should be easy enough to write in a really clear and concise manual. Let's take IKEA furniture for an example. You can create really complicated furniture and build it from scratch with just a little booklet. <laughs> so yeah, that's my final view. Was it fun to do the things? Yes, it was. Do I recommend it? Probably not. <laughs> I don't even though it is cute but you guys know what I say I want to hear your opinions so leave a comment down below and let's talk about it would you spend your money on a magical mixie would you buy it for your own child would you buy it for yourself would you have come across these frustrations as well I think the answer might have been yes <laughs> I did enjoy putting on my witch's hat though and pretending I was in a potion lesson I must say that was quite fun but for now that is all from today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up okay guys i'm off and i will see you next time mixie you're going back in there because yeah bye